Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation. And first of all, guys, I just want to apologize for the last couple of days not uploading any videos. I've just been busy hanging out with my family and playing with them. You know, I just haven't had time to really mess with the videos, so I do apologize for that. But hopefully today we're going to make it up with good old Hydra Supreme America here. Uh, guys, he is ridiculous. Uh, you know, he didn't need a uniform, but I think he's going to be a welcomed... Uh, uniform in the game he's pretty damn strong uh actually quite a bit stronger than in-game uni at least against call obsidian but i've tested him against uh, proxima as well and it seems like he's doing better against her also it really is insane especially the fact that this guy's a villain and can't get the he can't use that nick fury buff you know that 50 percent all attack leadership and that 55 percent damage to he can't use all that and he's still stronger having a weaker team and a weaker build than my in-game uniform. It really is insane. He looks pretty cool, guys. I do love the traditional look more, but he looks pretty cool, man. Definitely looks like what he should be, a villain. So let's take a look at his build. He has 36,000 physical attack. He has 127 attack speed, max crit rate, which is wonderful. 166 critical damage, guys. Keep that in mind. When you're watching this run today... This is low. This is making a massive difference in the amount of damage he's doing. It's hurting him a lot. He has 49% ignore defense. And he has max skill cooldown. This is something else that's hurting his damage. He has 48% dodge. This should be 75% because we're using a CTP of rage and your damage is based on how much crit rate and dodge that you have. And not having 75% dodge is really going to hurt him, man. This really is nuts, guys. Seriously, this guy's crazy. He has one physical attack Uru, and the rest of the all the other Urus are five star, I believe. Run through here real quick. I believe they're all five star. Yep. And all amplified slots. So he's built up pretty well, but he could have Odin's blessings on him. We could go all out like we did in the past with like Iron Man and just make him a freaking even more of a monster what he is, but honestly, I don't think we need to. Uh, all of his skills are at six. And he has a fully awakened Power of Angry Hawk set. Andy, he's rocking that CTP of Rage. I want to go through the skills real quick, guys. Uh, well, you know what? Actually, let's just take a look at the uniform effect real quick. So this uniform is at normal, guys. Normal. Yeah. He's got a ways to go. Uh, he does get a 10% increase of all attack, which is nice. And then you take a look at the changes. You know, we got... The three second immunity is still the same as it was with the in game uni. We got some bleed, burn, man, eh, who cares? Stun. We got some bleed, man, who cares? Three, we got 20% increase of all defenses. I think that's the same as stun. The four skill uh, still has the five second invincibility, like the in game uniform, still has the all defense down. It stacks up to 30%, lasts for five seconds. And then we got the fist skill, which still has the attack buffs, but it has a heal and what's called reality manipulation, which is just time freeze. Just a nice, fancy way of saying time freeze. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So let's preview the skills. Okay, guys. So if you're running with the CTP of energy, guys, I would just say hit your five and cancel right into the four. Now, the thing that sucks about that is if you do that, you'll never get your reality manipulation. But in all honesty, guys, like if you're using Scarlet or Rachel, you really don't need it anyways. So it's kind of one of those things like if you're it, it's good to have it because it gives them a form of crowd control. I mean, I think it's awesome to have this uh, reality manipulation, but you see it comes at the very end of the skill. If you cancel that sucker, you won't get it. So that's something to always keep in mind your rotation. You know, if you're trying to use that reality manipulation, then I would just start off with the four and get your damage proc on the four. And then I'd go two, one, three. And then I'd hit my five, get my reality manipulation, then go back into the four. If I was using a damage proc or a CTP of energy. Um, with the rage though, it you can pretty much do almost anything you want. The most important thing is keeping the proc on the five and especially that damn four. That four is where it's at. It's got that all defense down. And today we're going to be tying it in with weapon hex all defense down, just like we always do, to really get to max out the 100% all defense down that she has so we can do the most damage. As far as the rotation, guys, it's really all I do is I just go 5-4, 5-4, 2-1-3, 5-4, 2-1-3. And 
you know, you want to make sure you hit your five before you do your tier three, especially your five. Really what you want to do, guys, you want to hit your one for your immunity, hit your five, then your tier three. Your tier three does have an immunity on it, but it takes it a moment for it to, to start. You know, whenever you're accumulating on your... Well, we'll do the tier 3 again. You guys look in the top left-hand corner here. So we won't hit our immunity this time, and we're just going to hit the tier 3. Now, we're going to hit our tier 3. And there... And, yeah. It takes it a moment for the immunity to start, guys. So it's best to just go ahead and start with your 1, then your 5, and get your 5 so you get that super armor... So you don't get guard broken. So 1-5 tier 3. So before you do your tier 3, you should always be hitting 1-5. Now I'm not going to be doing that exactly in the run I'm going to do today. And that's because we're going to be using Rachel. And she's going to have that little bit of mind control that's going to allow me to get away with not using that immunity on that one. Because Call of Obsidian, the world boss that we're facing today, will be under mind control at least for those split moments. Oh my god, I hate it when I do that. Come on, get back in here. So guys, let's take this guy into some world boss action and let's see how he does. Let's rock and roll. Okay guys, so we're going to be using She-Hulk for that 6% damage to male types and we're going to be using Valkyrie for the 45% damage to supervillains plus Valkyrie's carrying a CTP of Insight offering an extra 20% of damage to supervillains uh, or to universal types for every time it's prop. Our strikers, we got anti venom for heals, we got weapon hex for all defense down, Rachel for her mind control, silver serpent thanos for that 24% damage out to super villains. The most important thing, guys, when you're running with a rage, especially, is every time you look at the striker, you're like look at the actual striker icon where it shows the countdown. And whenever you see weapon hex's countdown start, that's when you want to hit that four. When it's about on two seconds, if you notice, that's what I'll be doing. So we're going to wait here. Now she's counting down and we're hitting our four. And that's when you're going to do the most damage. When she's coming in and striking and you hit your four afterwards, you're going to do the most damage. And what you're trying to do is you want to get take some damage from your tier three. Then afterwards, go into your four skill afterwards. And there we bundled. We didn't get what we wanted, which really sucked. But we'll get it. But if you pull that off, the amount of damage you do is going to be freaking insane. Uh, something that does hurt you with the time freeze though, say you time freeze before you do your tier 3. Say you hit your 1-5 and then you, you uh, time freeze call. Well then you're not going to be taking damage from him. So you kind of want to cancel the 5 into the tier 3. So that way you do. Afterwards it doesn't matter but during the tier 3 you definitely want to be taking damage if you can. And guys, you know I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I played this for hours. Uh, I probably spent about a total of five hours playing this. Uh, you know, I have 55% physical attack on my cards. You know, mostly five-star physical attack gurus on this guy. And normal rank uni. And he can do stage 99 against Call. This is a massive improvement uh, compared to the in-game uni. You know, with the in-game uni, I had to use Nick Fury. I had to use two support buffs. Uh, and I can only get to like stage 80 with the end game uniform and we're doing stage 99 with a weaker freaking team guys it's just it's nuts it is nuts I mean <laughs> I don't even know what to say this dude is ridiculous if you guys notice sometimes I hit my five and then I'll hit my one. You get six seconds of super armor when you hit the five, so you can get away with doing that as well. Or you can just hit the one before the five. It really doesn't matter. You just just try to make sure you have immunity and super armor up at the same time before you hit that tier three. But we're doing pretty good. We're actually just a, a, a hair behind right now. But look at him go, man. Look at him go. I do, I do kind of miss the end game where he where he's punching with his four and he runs around kind of around him as he's punching I like that a little bit better as far as an animation goes but I cannot deny how much stronger he is in this uniform man this thing is ridiculous there we go now there whenever Cole starts doing his purple crap that's when that time freeze can come in handy 
because that has penetration. So whether you have immunity up or invincibility, you'll still get maybe even probably one shot in stage 99. Pretty crazy. There we go. Now we're going to hit our one, our five, our tier three. Try to absorb some damage. We're going to hit our four. And look at that, guys. Wasn't as good as what we wanted, but still not too bad. And man, even the five, when that all defense down comes in and you're using your five, that sucker does a lot of damage too, man. It is pretty awesome. He's, uh, and honestly, guys, you know, I think uh, he's probably easier to play because the four's animation seems a little shorter. So I think it's going to be easier to keep the proc on him. But I don't know. I haven't, you know, if you, you know, I'll probably test him with a CTP of energy, guys, just to see, you know, if how much better he is with a CTP of energy. But I can tell you, like, with a rage, well, honestly, he's just better. But I don't know how much of an improvement he's going to get with a CTP of energy versus CTP, CTP of energy. But yeah, look at him, man. Crazy power. We got a little over two bars left and about 38 seconds to go, guys. Come on. Let's do this. Insanity. There we go. Didn't really take a whole lot of damage there. Yeah, see, that sucked. We didn't take a whole lot of damage there. And this is, and guys, I tried this without Rachel. And what I found was at the end of the run, Cole's just iframing a lot. He's just iframing a lot, and you're just wasting time. So it's actually better to have a little mind control in here just to kind of control him a little bit. And. Oh, crap! So as you guys can see, man, we pretty much almost nipped this thing in the butt, man. He can do this. If, I mean, if I would have played it even longer, I'm sure I would have pulled it off. But guys, after five hours of gameplay, I was like, okay, this is enough. But man, this thing is really insane. Uh, should you buy it? Um, Yeah, I mean, guys, he's plus he's going to be the uh, ABX Blast villain uh, also. So... You know, I'm pretty sure he's topping old Cyclops. So, guys, let me know what you think about Hydra Supreme. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.